How's it going guys, Cezor here. So in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to change your theme on Spotify. So starting off, you'll want to go to the page that I will link down below in the description, which is called getup.com, then uh, Spicify releases. And then you'll be on a page where you can see all the releases of the Spicify client. So usually the newest release is on the very top, as you can see V110. Depending on your OS, you might download Linux or Windows. For my case, it's Windows. So once you have downloaded this file, you want to run spicify.exe. Now nothing really will happen, but it will create a folder in your users folder. So as you can see, I refreshed and the spicify folder appeared. And I want to go inside of it and leave it here for a second. Now you'll want to go to the second page link, which is the themes um, page. So these are all the themes available. So what you want to do is click on this green button and download zip. This will download all the themes available right now. Just to make it a little bit easier, I'll drag this folder to my desktop, right click on it and extract the Spicetify. You can get rid of the WinRAR file if you want. So once you open the folder, you can see all the available themes. Now you will want to go to the last page I will link down below. And on this page, you can see every single preview for the themes. Now what you want to do is press the Windows key plus R to open the run window and type in PowerShell. Press OK. So what you want to do is first copy the first command, paste it in and enter. I won't show you this because I've already done it, but if you enter it, then it will start downloading some files. And once it's done, you want to type in Spicetify and that'll create a config file in the Spicetify folder, which is here. Next up, you want to type in Spicetify backup apply. This will just make, make a backup so you can start applying themes. Once that is done, just minimize the PowerShell, go into your Spicetify folder and the themes folder put them side by side and just look for a theme you like. So I'm just gonna get a random one, for example, I'm just gonna get this Cappy one. So you wanna drag it into the themes folder. Once you have done that, right click on the config.ini file, edit with notepad, whatever notepad you have, then copy the name of the theme. If you haven't done anything yet, then it should be Spicify default, but you wanna change that into the theme you have just dragged in. So in my case, it is Cappy. Click on file. Click on save, and I can close this off. Go back into the PowerShell and copy this last command, which is Spicetify update. You want to close off Spotify and open it again. Once you close and open Spotify, the new theme will be applied. So this is what the new theme looks like. I personally like the other one more, so I'll just go back to it right now. So edit with notepad, just type in bittersweet, file, save, close, then go back to PowerShell, Spicify update. I'm gonna close this off. I'm closing Spotify, reopening it, and as you can see, the new theme is applied. And this is how you do it with all the other themes as well. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I could help you change your theme from the boring default one to something new, something nice. And yeah, anyways, guys, I just want to thank you guys once again for all the support on my recent videos. I'm really glad to see that you guys are enjoying those videos. And yeah, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, as well as comment down below what you would like to see in the next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.